which is kind of shocking because their petals they make are really incredible. The meatball is considered by some one of the greatest envelope filters that it ever made. The competition might be Moog Low Pass Filter. And uh, just a briefing on the controls, you have the sensitivity knob, which is your envelope amount. The farther up it is, the more it drives the intensity, which is the cutoff. The attack time, which controls the attack time of the envelope follower circuit. The decay time, which controls the, de the decay time of the envelope follower circuit. The color, which is basically a resonance control. Intensity, which is the fine-tune uh, frequency control. Blend, which is your wet-dry mix. And this high and low, at low, it's very low frequency. And at high, it's like higher frequency. You have your low pass, band pass, and high pass, toggle switch off position which freezes the envelope circuit full which is full envelope circuit and half which I'm guessing is half although I don't really notice a difference between half and full but up and down which reverses the trigger so you can see now that LED displays the fact that the cutoff is all the way up now and now it's all the way down uh, you have an expression pedal, uh, two expression pedal inputs in the back here for Decay time, which I controlled earlier, the intensity, which is the cutoff, and then you have an effects loop, which I will be showing some pedals in that uh, in another video. Uh, your power supply, input, and your output. So let's check it out. Here's the bypass signal on my Fender Strat into a Morgan AC20.